When you head to the local stop and rob, recognize that's a place that you could be victimized. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Arlington, Texas. Here we're going to see a woman get victimized in the parking lot of a convenience store. And this one's going to teach us important lessons about victim selection and being in a vulnerable population. Also, we're going to talk about transitional spaces and the importance of awareness to our self-defense. So this guy's just standing outside the mini mart here at the local stop and rob. And we know here in just a second why he did, because this woman's going to come out and not really pay any attention to him. And as soon as she heads for her car, he's going to follow her right to the vehicle. And as she tries to get in, he's going to prevent her from coming in and grab a hold of her purse, her phone, whatever that was, and run off with it. And she doesn't have any answer for that. That's as fast as it happens. Let's go back and learn some lessons on this one. The first one I want to think about is yes, transitional spaces. You see this here where this guy kind of can hide out because is it good that somebody is standing there at the entryway? No, but is it common? Yeah, this is a place where people kind of congregate and come and go. So you may not think about him immediately. However, this woman, when she comes out there, you notice that the bad guy is paying attention to her, but she's not paying attention to him. You need to assess if he's paying attention to you, he shouldn't be paying attention to you. And awareness would have given you that pre-attack cue to maybe protect yourself. Now she's walking away with her back to him and this was the opportunity if she was paying attention, if she had her ears to say, hey, this guy's following me, that if she had something like a pepper spray or something like that, she might have been able to use it effectively or get around the other side of the car where this guy couldn't have hurt her. But because she did not have that, he was able to get the jump on her here. And once he has his hands on her, he's so much bigger than she is. Her chances of being able to fight this guy off, even if she's a martial arts master, aren't fantastic, honestly. Her chances were when she was aware and when she had some space from the guy. And because he got a hold of her, he was able to take what he wanted and get the heck out of here. So let's pay attention to transitional spaces. Let's use our pre-attack cues to make sure that we're at the distance that we need to be in order to cover our ASP. 